If you ever need to get a lovely girl to dangle from your big top, get him Jim Kelly. And right now, the girl we love to have on our bar, Claire Hooper. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, last time. That's fine. That's fine. Obviously, a few days ago, I started thinking about what else I could do. Yep. Um, or just um, how to change the terminology from unemployment to holidays. <laughs> That's right. It's holidays time for all of us. Yes. I've got early retirement as my... <laughs> <laughs> Been, I've been uh, returning to the careers I wanted to do as a kid. Like, I'm just thinking about what I actually wanted to be when I grew up um, for some inspiration. And I know that I really wanted to be um, a writer, an author. I know mm. you write books. Mm. Um, mm. Children's books. Yeah. <laughs> sort Thank of. Yeah. Parents don't really like it when their children read them, though. <laughs> Nightmares, scared, hiding corners. Kill that. <laughs> room for another children's book <laughs> author in Australia. Um, anyway, but I've written, I've written a new book. I actually would like, I mean, because this is hopefully going to serve two purposes. Either I get a book deal or I get a job on play school, <laughs> which I secretly want very badly because I like wearing overalls. Um, <laughs> who doesn't? So I, I'm actually going to take this really seriously, um, even though it's only first draft. Oh. So let me... Like I said, I'm, I'm going to take this very seriously. So, a princess walked into a bar. If you had an elephant here, you could have a princess walked into a bar bar. <laughs> so, I want you to notice that I am, like you have to do on Play School, I'm going to make the page turning noises. Onomatopoeia with a dirty kind of quality to it. So, <laughs> oh, I'm terribly sorry, said the princess, who was used to getting out of trouble by intimidating people with her educated voice and great rack. <laughs> what? Sorry, what's that? That's the bar. Oh, that's the bar. She, she walked into a bar. A bar. That's a bar. This is like our bar. I think it's a very good representation <laughs> considering the limited coloured pencils I had. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, it's just that such a funny thing just happened. <laughs> and she jumped onto the bar, bloop, <laughs> and began to tell the bar a story. <laughs> <clears throat> Soon the princess and the bar were best of friends. Oh. And the bar began to look forward to the princess's weekly stories even though it didn't always get the point of them. <laughs> but one day, Ooh, the friends got some news. I'm for... Oh. What would he be saying? That the Chancellor of the Exchequer had cancelled the princess's visits to the bar. <laughs> It went so far as to suggest that if she wanted to tell stories, she could find a more economically viable way, like an open mic night or TV infomercials. <laughs> <laughs> or whatever it is you're going to do after this. <laughs> Back to the book, everyone. Just look at the book, children. Don't look at your uncle in the corner. <laughs> And the bar was to embark on a glittering solo career as host of his own interview show. Oh. oh. Plus, the bar would be joining the cast of Play School. Oh. What the bar didn't realise 
was that the princess was not only possessive in nature, but jealous and vengeful. <laughs> and if anyone else was going to work under Reese Muldoon's sweet backside, it would certainly be her. <laughs> in contract oh, negotiations with management, the princess had a word to the set department <laughs> about a possible early retirement. Oh, 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 oh. And what the bar didn't realise was just how soon it would be retired. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Claire Hooper!